evening, uh, Pete here out on Tesco's, it's uh, Wednesday evening, uh, just off to another customer and I've got to go across uh, another strange railway crossing. if the tide's in or out so and the tide's in at the moment it depends how deep it is we've had a fairly high tide um, we shall see as you can see the road liable to flood in it says so this is the railway crossing just here and we're okay it's not flooded As you can see, there's a walkway on the right-hand side. This road actually floods. To my left is Lou, and the S I'm going over the estuary now. And then it's the same railway line as that other crossing. Um, and we go up the road here to a customer, so what I'll do, I'll turn this off and I'll film my return journey. So hi, it's uh, Pete again. Uh, just finished that uh, job up this lane, so I'm sort of heading back now. That was my last one of the evening. I've had uh, eight drops tonight. Pretty heavy night because we're getting near to Christmas now, so the loads are pretty heavy. I had a couple of uh, ones that I had to barrow to the properties. They were quite uh, tough. Sorry, the road's a bit bumpy along here. Just get off this uh, dirt bit now on a concrete road. So yeah, we go across this level crossing down here. It's, just, it's on the same line as the Coombe Holt one. So that one was where you have to telephone and get across the railway line. This one's just an open line. And it's quite a strange one actually, because one night I was coming out of this same property, I've been to this same property, and I uh, went down, as I was coming down and going out where he crossed the estuary, there was a train coming out of Lou. Uh, and he actually stopped the train flashed his lights and bibbed his hooter and apparently that's quite normal for him to do that uh, on this line here they, I mean, they are just leaving the station so the trains are going very slow and it's not a fast line so and I think they just probably think well I'll let the vehicles get out of the way and uh, it's not a problem then but yeah it's a bit different uh, we come down here sometimes and we have to go like, quite take a long detour on high spring tides because the water's very high normally it's not too bad and it's most, just more like a splash and you can drive through so we're now back on the road oh. so yeah this week I'm working tonight which is Wednesday evening and I'm working um, I've drawn a short straw, I'm doing Friday and Saturday evening, so yeah, it shouldn't be too bad. I thought tonight it would be heavier than it was. It was heavy, but I've had it a lot worse than this. So yeah, we. I mean some people have asked on the videos, we have to I have to be really careful about uh, obviously customer details. I can't show any delivery addresses. Can't show any uh, customer details. You know, not, I'm pretty positive about it all. I, I don't, um, you know, I, enjoy, I, I quite enjoy the job to be honest. So I put the lights on full. It's a nice area here. And that's, that's actually a slipway down there, just down there. So there's a sign. Road's liable for flooding. So that's the estuary, I'll try and turn the camera. And you can see the railway sign there. So the estuary's there. And they have these walk, walking boards to go across the across the way, across the obviously when the tide's in. It's not too bad, but I've, I've been here before and it's been up to those walking boards. You can see the water there. So this is the crossing. And you give way to trains, obviously. And as I say, Lou's to my right and uh, Liscard's to my left. I 
bring you back in that one. Speak to you soon. So we're just coming up to a place called Sand Place, which is an unusual name. Oh, it's a premiership. railway line is just to my left just beyond just the other side of that fence and actually there's a nice little station here at the sand place quite a, again quite a nice place actually to get off and go for a walk around there if you wanted to obviously and there's the railway station there little platform so it's a main line but it's not a uh, not a very busy railway line I think they run trains every hour Something like that. And we're heading towards Liscard now. But yeah, it's a few days. I don't think there'll be any more videos now unless I do one on Friday or Saturday evening. I might do one. Uh, it just depends really how busy I am and uh, What's happening really uh, weather wise and stuff like that um, if you've got any questions about the job you know please feel free to ask me um, I try and be uh, honest about the job uh, I've been doing it three years now before that I was on Morrison's or anything else about the videos and that if you've got anything you want to ask feel free to do so I'll try and get back I'll try to answer all the comments as well you know uh, appreciate when people make comments and that, you know so I was just uh, concentrating on that bend back there so yeah um, happy days really and I'm working like I say Friday and uh, Saturday evening and then uh, we don't work Christmas Eve anyway and that'll be it after Christmas then Anyway, um, just like to wish you all a Merry Christmas, a prosperous New Year. If we don't do another video, um, thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, liking and all that good stuff. Uh, everyone stay safe uh, and enjoy Christmas. Speak to you all soon. Bye-bye for now.